Today's horoscope and tarot reading from Astro Academy, Aquarius March 15, 2022. There is intensity brewing in your personal life with both Mars and Venus aligning with Pluto today. While you could be dealing with trust issues or complicated emotions and concerns, you may get the chance to channel excess energy into a project around the home or for slash with family, and you can be determined to make a difference or a significant change or transformation. The focus should be on renovation, whether this is literal or figurative. If you feel that your relationships are satisfying, you can feel on top of the world, but you can be deeply affected if they're missing the mark. Embrace an attitude of out with the old and in with the new on material, emotional, or spiritual levels for best results today. Revealing interactions with family members or those very close to you can occur now. It can also be a time for going the extra mile for something you truly want and believe in, and that may very well be a stronger sense of security. You're making important decisions, so chances are you are feeling the pressure that comes along with it. Given that the moon will be glimmering through boundless Pisces and your responsible sixth house of health, daily rituals, and acts of service, it's important to be mindful of your mental health and prioritize your mindfulness before anything. After all, it's not every day your luscious planetary ruler, Venus, meets with powerhouse Pluto, not to mention by your fourth house of home, family matters, and innermost feelings. You could be in the process of expanding your family or taking things to the next level in your current partnership. What's next? The moon has officially left Aquarius for magical Pisces today, infusing your work life with a little bit of optimism. You may feel notably invested in your work routine and obligations, thanks to the lunar input. However, the sweet energy of the lunation may cause you to lose track of time. If you lean too far into the Pisces energy, you may spend more time with your head in the clouds than actually being productive at work. Try to find the balance between enjoying an easygoing day while still chipping away at your tasks. Before leaving your work sector today the moon will form a friendly aspect to the south node in your income sector, something that every monthly visit for the rest of the year will do. This time is different, with a chance to lock into the untapped income potential the south node has access to and sweeping this up in the wave that a new moon on the job front has created. You didn't ask to be the leader, but you might as well enjoy it for now. Bask in that grand, charismatic energy, and people will flock to you to help carry out your creative schemes. Give yourself enough time to get things done today. You may feel pulled in several directions at once, and it will take a lot of emotional energy to balance yourself out before you can begin to get things accomplished. While exercise might be the last thing on your mind, consider that everything you do will benefit from the sharper focus you have once you've given your heart rate a chance to strengthen and pump fresh blood into your system. You may find yourself drawn to writing on this day. Chances are, you already engage in perhaps on a regular basis. Be sure that you allot some time in your schedule to enjoy this activity. Perhaps you may want to consider taking a notebook or a mini recorder with you so that you can capture your thoughts as they occur. It can be easy to forget once a little time has passed. Thanks to the moon's departure from your career sector today, you can move into the sun's final seven days in your work sector with your professional instincts and imagination fueled. It is the moon's clash with Pluto on the home front just before leaving that will also deliver some timely work and life balance reminders, especially with the busiest months of the year still in front of you. In the meantime, the moon's return to your friendship sector kicks off a positive few days for friendship and relationship building which are also a taste of things to come. Just seven days before the sun's return to your relationship sector will put the solar spotlight on your relationships, the moon makes a timely return to your friendship sector. This will see the moon form a friendly aspect to the planets already in your relationship sector over the coming days, laying down a blanket of support for friendship and relationship building. Your tarot reading for today. The star, the sun, and the chariot. You have to admit that you have a problem. You didn't think it could happen to you, but it has. You are in love with a married man. 
The cards show a forbidden relationship, which, however, may for the moment only be in your mind, and has no real basis. It is also possible that a married man around you has his eye on you. Whatever happens, the cards announce a revelation during the days of March to come. It won't be long because this love has been hidden for too long, and now it has to come out in the open. This will put things in order so they can resume their normal run. Should I go further or leave it there? The question arises every day. Don't be too sure of yourself. Whatever the path you take, it will make you happy. And this is for one simple reason, love is stronger than anything. You are lucky that you have, perhaps unknowingly, a hidden love, many people wish they could say the same. Become aware of it and put a big smile on your face, and embrace life to the full. Tomorrow is another day, so never mind. Live your relationship to the full, no one will judge you. Only you decide about your life. Don't worry about the comments from your friends and family about how you live and the choices you make. Who do they think they are to judge whether your decisions are good or bad? Do you think they are in a better position than you perhaps? Keep your distance from these people, and only listen to yourself. Your happiness hangs by a thread, and that thread is yours. Our eyes in the sky. You have the morning hours to enjoy the last few drops of Taurus lunar energy, so if you can afford to relax and pamper yourself, that kind of time will be the most enjoyable. If you're working from home, homeschooling your kids, or acting as caregiver to a family member, you'll have to get creative with your alone time. It can be done. No matter what your quarantine circumstances are, you deserve at least a few minutes to yourself to take a long shower or bath, style your hair your beard, take your time putting on makeup and choosing your favorite, flattering outfit. While all this might seem a bit self-indulgent, look at it this way, the happier you are, the happier you can make others. The moon sextals the sun early in the afternoon, giving you a much-needed feeling of balance and harmony. While the people around you might be reeling from something they hear on the news or read on social media, you're able to stay calm. You can see both sides of most stories now, and because of this fair-minded perspective, you see no need to panic. Things always work out in the end, don't they? The moon drifts away from steady Taurus and into alert Gemini late in the afternoon, increasing your mental power and giving you all kinds of interesting ideas. If you have a creative job, this is a great time to write down your thoughts so you can share them later with your boss slash client slash business partner, etc. You have lots of fun little verbal exchange now, and you're able to make a great impression on someone you've been trying hard to impress.